followed by looks to be Ray McClory. You recognize. Thank you, Chair. Um, thank you, everyone, for uh, allowing us to be here to speak. Um, unlike several of the other people who spoke before me, I don't I don't have a lot of numbers. I didn't have a lot of time to prepare for this. Um, I have two kids. I have I work full time. Um, you know, I'm struggling financially, and I'm I'm a parent of a trans child. Um, this bill is is scary. This bill scares my me and my wife and my child a whole lot. I had to look my 13 year old in the face the other day when they looked at me and asked, why does Florida hate me? Why do they want us to go? My child was born here at TMH, right here in Tallahassee, where I went to high school, where my wife was born and raised. We don't want to leave. We can't afford to leave, but it certainly feels like this state wants us gone. It's very easy for the proponents of this bill to stand up here and say that this bill is about care when it clearly is not, this is a clear attack on an entire community of people who just want to live their lives. If this is a state that truly believes in personal individual liberties, it would be great if, you could, if, if uh, you know, we would pass bills that would show that. Um, I don't really have much else to say. Um, but yeah, please vote no on this. Don't let it pass through committee. Um, please protect my child. Their blood could be on your hands. Thank you. Ray McClory, followed by Savannah Thompson. You recognize. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, fellow committee members. I, too, am a parent of a transgender child. My child came out as an adult, and when I, we've, she was very depressed for many years. We did not know why. We took her to several different psychologists, psychiatrist, had her on a medication for depression, and still I'd come home from work every night. I'd have to sit in the driveway and build up courage to go in the house to see if she had killed herself. Not an exaggeration. Then, finally, thanks to COVID, I'm actually one of the beneficiaries of COVID because I started working from home, and I could be home with her, and we had more time to talk in um, be together, and eventually she built up enough courage to finally come out as transgender while she was in her mid to late 20s. And things have been so much better with her since coming out, so much happier. And I want to ask you about this bill. Who is it benefiting? What is the purpose of this bill? And think of how many people it is going to hurt. It could definitely cause many transgender people, especially children and teenagers, to probably take their own lives, be afraid to come out, and it will hurt them. And the ones that do survive, they will have even more miserable lives. I strongly urge you to respect the lives of fellow Floridians and vote no on House Bill 1639. Thank you. 